Today, I'm going to show you how to create an online portfolio using Adobe InDesign and a free website called Issue.com. Creating an exciting and dynamic portfolio is the first step when applying for a graphic design position. Back in my day, these were the types of portfolios we presented when interviewing with a prospective employer. And although they can still be a valuable tool in a face-to-face -face interview, today, before you'll ever get your foot in the door, you'll have to have an online portfolio so employers can determine whether or not you're the right fit for the job. Now there are a lot of free online portfolio sites that you can use, but unfortunately, they are template-based and really don't give you much room to be unique. And in this business, being unique is everything. Using Adobe InDesign gives you the freedom to custom design your portfolio in unique and creative ways. Issue.com is a leading digital publishing platform for delivering exceptional reading experiences of magazines, catalogs, and newspapers, but can also be used to showcase your portfolio in a dynamic and interactive way without the need for creating a website and paying for a service to host it. You can sign up for a free account, upload a PDF file of your portfolio, and have it ready for immediate viewing. To update your portfolio, simply revise your original InDesign document and upload a new PDF file to issue.com. It's important to note that this tutorial is not meant to show you how to use Adobe InDesign, but rather one idea on how to create a portfolio using Adobe InDesign and how to upload it to a free website for immediate viewing. So how is this all done? Well, let's get started. In this example, I've opened up a 16-page double spread document that includes a cover, seven double page spreads, and a back cover. The amount of pages you can have are limitless, but I would suggest that you only show your best pieces and highly scrutinize the pieces that you show. Again, a portfolio should only show your best work. The first spread consists of a designer statement which outlines your design philosophy. How do you work? How do you learn? And how is your work relevant in solving client problems? In the second spread, I present a table of contents, which lists the projects I will present in the portfolio. In this tutorial, I will only cover the first project, which will represent various pieces designed for the client Mac videography. I will show branding, advertising, collateral, video, still photography, and when design projects for this single client. In the introductory spread, I talk about the history of the brand Mac Videography, how the company evolved, and how the identity was created. I highly recommend that you tell a story with your portfolio. Real-world graphic design projects come with real clients and real problems that must be addressed. Let the prospective employer know how you came to solving these problems. Multiple pieces are often generated for clients in both graphic design and advertising. Showing related work and campaigns are an excellent way to show your ability to maintain identity within a company. In this spread, advertisements, business forms, and calling cards carry through the Mac Videography brand. Mac Videography started out as a video production company which explains why the camera lens was used for their logo. In this spread, videos created by Mac Videography are showcased and linked to the website where they can be viewed on Vimeo. The side panels highlight additional services and social media integration. Today, still photography is fast becoming a required skill for the graphic designer. In this spread, I have included photographs taken for various Mac Videography video projects. 
The photos were used in brochures designed for promotional marketing. The last spread shows screen captures of the main website designed for Mac videography. The emphasis of this spread was to discuss the design approach, research involved, and solutions to specific problems that had to be overcome. At this point, the following pages would consist of other projects you would choose to put in your portfolio. Remember, a good portfolio is developed over time and is constantly being changed, revised, and updated with your most current work. So now that you've completed the design of your portfolio, the next step is to export the document as a PDF file and upload it to issue.com. Okay, so once we've created our file and it's complete, we're now going to export to a PDF, which is as simple as going up to File and Export. And what we're going to do is uh, name it the same name as the original InDesign file. We're going to make sure that it's an Adobe PDF file. We're going to click Save. Now the key here, I already had one on the desktop here, but the key here is to make sure that uh, pages is checked and not spreads. Now normally when you make a PDF you're going to want to click spreads because these are spreads, but in this case we're going to click pages, uh, make individual pages, and issue.com is going to make the spreads for us. So make sure that pages is clicked and then we'll simply export. And that is all you have to do to make the PDF. Okay, when you come to issue.com for the first time, you're going to have to create an account. Um, so you'll go up to create an account and we'll select create an account. And we'll need an email address. Okay, the profile name will probably be your name. Uh, so I'll say John Q student and this is going to be your profile URL issue.com slash John Q student. So we'll create the account and we'll learn how. It's at this point that <clears throat> we're going to uh, take out the basic free account. So I'm going to click continue here. And I'm going to put my name here as John Student. I'm going to just click Submit. We're ready to get started. We're ready to upload our PDF. So it says select a file here to get started or drop the documents in here. So I will click here and go to my desktop. Here is my portfolio PDF example. So I will open that. And it uploads pretty fast. Okay, it's all uploaded now and now we come to this uh, screen here where we can uh, give it a name. Uh, I'm going to keep it at the same name, Portfolio Example. And you can give it a description. We might just say uh, the graphic design portfolio of John Q. Student. Maybe we'll say my portfolio. Okay, and then I'm going to publish. And once it's published, we will open the publication and this is where all the magic happens. And there you have it. Um, it's still going through a conversion process, but there's a little icon down here where we can click and we can see all of the thumbnails of our project. And we can click through the arrows. And you can see that this is a very nice interface. Um, it 
looks like a magazine, it looks like a book. And this was all created in Adobe InDesign. So you can do a very custom design. Okay, you can see that uh, it might take a little bit for it to initially load. Um, but once it does, then when you visit it, it will be fine. And there you have it. A custom portfolio created in Adobe InDesign and uploaded to Issue.com for immediate viewing. So the next time you need to show a prospective employer or client what an amazing designer you are, send them a link to your portfolio online. And get ready to be called in for that face-to-face -face interview. I'm John Kawa, and thanks for watching.